we are going to write some radicals in exponential form. Did you know that the square root of a number is the same as raising that number to the power of a half? This is called the exponential form because you're showing the square rooting as a power of a fraction, in this case, one half for square root. Cube root, when you have a little tiny three above the number, converts to a fraction of one third. So five cube rooted is equivalent to five to the power of one third. Now, what that means is that if you have a root as well as a whole number exponent, you can convert the radical, in this case, the fourth root, to an exponent, and then use exponent rules to simplify. The fourth root of three is three to the power of a quarter, but that whole thing has been raised to the power of five here. Now, what can you do with two exponents when you have a number to a power raised to another power? That is equivalent to these two exponents multiplied by each other. Five times one quarter is five quarters. Now you'll notice a little shortcut here. The radical number, and remember, square root is two, but otherwise a number will be written over the radical there, goes to the denominator of the exponent, and any whole number exponent goes in the numerator. Not bad. Let's continue this. We have the fifth root of negative eight. Now you can't take the square root of a negative and stay in the real numbers, but you can take odd roots. So I'm gonna keep my negative eight here and raise it to the power of the fifth root is one fifth, just like cube root was one third. Now this is a regular square root. The negative here is outside of the square root, so we're not square rooting negative 35. I'm gonna keep that negative out front here. I'm gonna rewrite the square root of 35 as 35 to the power of a half, and it is raised to the power of seven. Now, power of a power, I can multiply those together. That's negative 35 to the power of seven halves. Now, if you don't write that negative in brackets with the 35, everyone knows you do the power first and then negativize the answer because of order of operations. If you really want to, you can put brackets around the 35 or even put them around 35 and the power. Those are all equivalent answers. The only places you're not allowed to put brackets here are collecting this negative and the 35 together because then you're trying to apply that exponent to the negative and that is not what the original question said. Cool, and similarly here, now let's use our shortcut. We have our base, negative four, the numerator or is a whole number exponent that may be applied. In this case, it's two. And the denominator of that exponent is whatever radical you have. In this case, two thirds. Those are equivalent. Good job. Thanks for being with me and best of luck.